Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how you can assemble these bowl shaped magnet arrays. Since many people have asked me how I do it and it is kind of tricky if you don't know how and if you haven't done it before. So that's why I decided to make a little tutorial video. So here is the array as it comes out of the printer. You print it like this, so it lays like this on the print bed and you have some support material in the center part here. And to remove that, I just take some pliers and yeah, just squeeze it and twist it a bit to get most of it out like this. As you can see, we still have a um, bit of the support material in here. And with this, I just take a screwdriver and yeah, get in here and try to get it out like this. And you do this step by step. And after that, you will end up with something like this. So I've prepared this one already with the supports removed to speed up the video a bit. And as you can see, we have 54 of these square holes. That's where the five millimeter cube magnets come in. And one center hole here where uh, the 10 millimeter disc magnets comes into the center part. So I like to start with the small array with the cube magnets and I insert the disc magnets. Um, for, yeah, it's the last magnet that I insert. But I can tell you with the bigger arrays, always start with the center magnet first. So always insert the magnet with the disc magnets in the center first and then work around with all of the cube magnets. So now I will show you, you need a compass like this and or any other polarity finder and here I have a stack of five millimeter cube magnets and with this array I want all of the poles facing north poles to the center inside here. So obviously this direction is north pole on the magnet so I want this facing inside so I have to flip it around so we have south pole here. Then I take one of the magnets off like this and put it on a screwdriver that has a flat top like this. As you can probably see, if you put it on like this, then double check the compass, we see we have south pole here. So then I always start with the inner circle first. So the first magnet is easy, just push it inside here like this and you have the first magnet in here then yeah I continue this with the second magnet push them in sometimes they get out like this so as I said the assembly can be a bit tricky so what I do is I cover the already the magnet that's already inside here with my thumb so push it in and then don't pull it out like this because then it will stick to the screwdriver again push it in again then with your fingernail like this you hold it and pull it away sideways then it will stay inside then I come to the next magnet do the same I will speed up the video a bit so it doesn't bore you. I'll just finish the first circle. So now I've inserted the first circle, the inner circle in here, all of the magnets. That's how you should start and it's the easiest. Don't start from the outside or do it like randomly. Always start from the inside and work yourself to the outside. So now I will come to the second row. And for this, I also um, cover the bottom magnets here with my thumb because these magnets always want to be, yeah, they are attracted to the other magnets, the one that I insert like this, and this can happen. So you pull this magnet out. You don't want this to happen. That's why I always cover the bottom magnets. So let me insert this one again and then we start with the second row. This time I cover the bottom magnet 
so it doesn't fall out again. And I push the magnet in like this. And then you basically continue the second row, just like first row, like this. Always be careful that you cover all the surrounding magnets with your finger. Otherwise, uh, the magnet will stick to the other one and pull it out again. You don't want that to happen because, yeah, it can get annoying. <laughs> But with a bit of practice, you will get it. You will get the trick. So let me just finish this row. So now you can see already completed the second row. And what I can do next is I can already insert the center magnet if I want to, but I can also do this as a last step. Um, for now, I will just do it right now. So you can see what can go wrong and how to do it properly. So of course, here I have a stack of these um, 10 millimeter disc magnets and I insert two of them. So they are six millimeters high in total. And here I have my compass again. I check the polarity. South pole is here. That's what I want because North pole so should face to the center. And then I try to cover most of the inner magnets with my thumb. And they are, yeah, they, they're just held in there by the force of the field itself, but they can easily pull, pull, be pulled out. So I hope that doesn't happen right now. And as I'm inserting them, I come in like this and push it in straight forward. Don't let go of it and just push them in like this. And when you're down at the bottom, just um, bend it up like this and quickly remove it out to the side. Yeah. And as you can see, I pulled out one of these magnets, but that's not too bad. Let's just insert it again. And if you have already a lot of magnets around here, inserting this one will be a bit tricky. So I just take it like this, cover most of the magnets around it. And I try, I don't go in like this, but I come in in a rotational movement like this. You will see what I mean. And then it is quite easy to insert it again. If I just go in like this, it will be pulled to the other magnets. <laughs> As you can see, I've already pulled out three of the other magnets. Um, yeah, just by doing it wrongly which can be frustrating if you do this the first time. Sorry about the camera. So let me just insert the three magnets again, and then we will continue with the third row. So now that I've inserted all the magnets again, as you can see here, we can continue with the second last row outside here. And I will give you also a bit of a tip, don't go in like this, not in a straight movement. If you go, see, I put my finger on the magnet so it doesn't slip off sideways. Then I cover with my thumb all of these magnets beneath where I want to insert it. And then you can see the movement like I come in here. So sideways, then I go down right on the side here. And then I'm right over the hole and push it in and pull it away also sideways. That's the easiest way how you can insert them. You will have to try a couple of times, but you will get the technique quite easily. And I think that's the only way how you can do it without all of the magnets being attracted together. And yeah, if you don't have the right technique, assembling these arrays will be very frustrating. And yeah, I had some people 
writing me how do you do it <laughs> i just can't do it and let me tell you with the small array that i have here with this five millimeter cube magnets it is compared to the bigger arrays quite easy to do so if you have never done it before you should definitely start out with these small arrays just to get the feeling for it and how to insert the magnets with the bigger arrays yeah it is i i can honestly say it is quite tricky to do because the magnets at the size of eight or ten millimeter cube magnets they're just really strong and the total field of the array is also strong so the magnet will always be attracted to the other ones and just doesn't want to go into the hole it's like the force of the entire field prevents the magnets from getting into the hole only when it's pushed in like this and pushed down completely the field will push the magnet inside but if it's not completely inside there it will be drawn to the center so let's just finish this row. Now that I've finished the last row, or the second last row, I will go to this row, which most people will find the most tricky part here, this last row. So again, I will show you how I do it. The first magnet will be the most challenging one. And I can tell you an easy trick. You can see this hole and this hole, they line up directly. So don't start with this one. Take one where the holes don't line up directly, like here and here, so they're set off a bit sideways. It will be easier to do. Just come in like this and always hold the magnet to the outer surface. Push it against it before you are actually in the hole, then push it in so the magnet doesn't slip off like this. Maybe you will question yourself, what is he talking about? Just pushing the magnets, but if you actually do it yourself, you will know what I mean. It can be quite tricky. And then I just continue pushing in one magnet after another, like this. And yeah, I will just finish the row. So now we are at the last magnet. Also, I just push it in like all of the other ones. And that's it. That's how you assemble these bowl shaped magnet arrays with the five millimeter cube magnets. And I can tell you some tips and tricks that maybe help you if you fail at doing so. So it might happen that um, yeah, you just insert the magnet and it gets attracted to one of the other magnets and you will pull out other magnets while you try to insert one. If that happens and you pull out a lot of magnets it will be easier to just start over. And by that I mean pull out the other magnets and start again from the inner row. I know this can be a bit frustrating <laughs> if that happens too, too often, but I think it's the easiest way because when one of these magnets down here comes out and the magnets above here are already inserted, it will be kind of tricky to insert them. With the small array, it's doable but with the bigger arrays yeah you will have a hard time doing that and you will most likely just pull out more of the other magnets so yeah this is how you assemble it quite easy but not too easy at all <laughs> and i hope that asked answered most of your questions if you still have questions or i forgot to explain something just write me a comment let me know and thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.